Welcome back friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we have a pretty special money making guide. Uh, as you can see in my money pouch here, I have zero GP. You don't need any starting money. You don't also need any starting requirements. Uh, you are going to be running very slight amounts, so maybe having 10 or 15 agility would be nice. Completely unnecessary though. Uh, if it does come down to it, you can always walk. So what we're going to be doing is collecting honeycomb. Uh, it is a summoning familiar secondary for the honey badger pouch, which is the probably the best crimson pouch to be making at summoning level 33 to 46. So there is a demand for these. It's not going to be as high as something like steel plate bodies with the steel titan pouches. But there is still a demand if you want to sell these at whatever price you want to sell them at. Uh, the demand will probably eventually hit the mark so that you can actually sell them at the price. So what do we actually need to do this? You only need one item and it's free to pick up from Catherby here. So if you haven't already noticed, we are in Catherby. The lodestone is right here and the bank is right here. All you do is you run over to this house right here and they have uh, a spawn in here. It's called insect repellent. Uh, we are collecting honeycomb so there are bees. So you're going to have to be using the insect repellent on the beehives. That means that every single inventory you can only collect 27 honeycomb instead of 28 because we do have to keep the insect repellent on us at all times. It appears that it lasts for like four or five minutes, so you could figure out the exact amount of time that this lasts for, and then, uh, there you go. You have to pour the insect repellent on the beehives. Uh, you could just figure out exactly how long that these insect repellents last for, and then only bring it on specific trips, assuming that you're fast enough. Uh, but I personally wouldn't recommend that. I'm just going to keep it in my inventory at all times. So there are two options on this beehive here. There's take from and take honey. So if you click the take from, first off you're going to need a bucket in your inventory, which is why I picked up that bucket right there. And you get a bucket of wax. We do not care about that. Totally disregard that. Uh, it is unfortunately, unfortunate that that exists because we're going to have to take honey from, which means we're going to be having to right click every single time. So all you do is right click and just take honey from. You want to be doing this as fast as possible. Uh, there is a maximum rate that the person can actually pick from if you can't tell from the animation here. I haven't actually been able to click fast enough to kind of disregard that animation and get two from one go. So you kind of just want to click as fast as you can. Um, obviously the faster you click the more money per hour you're making. So keep that in mind so once you get a full inventory luckily because they changed up the way Catherby works uh, they changed the the place of the bank very slightly and it actually put it closer to us than it would have otherwise been uh, it is at a really weird angle because it's pointing the other other direction so you do have to run all the way around the bank but it used to be over by the lodestone so it's gonna be a little bit faster to bank if I recall uh, as you can see, I already did a full inventory just to test it out. Uh, and that's actually when I figured out that you don't have to use insect repellent every single inventory. Uh, I might figure out exactly how often you have to actually use the insect repellent, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm just keeping it on me at all times. Uh, I'm going to test it out, see how many I can get in about 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, I'll figure out exactly how long I want to do this because it is pretty click intensive and... I'm not entirely sure how much money it's going to be making because it's uh, no requirement. But we'll figure that out when we come back. I decided to do about 10 minutes of this. I did put a timer on uh, and I ended up getting 243 honeycomb. So that's not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and check the price check just to see what the price check says. Uh, it says 180 million in 10 minutes. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to complain about something that's probably already 1.2 mil. Uh, I am going to check the GE prices, that way I can figure out the money per hour, but that looks pretty good to start out with. I just want to show you guys the importance of checking margins here. 
Uh, so earlier on, I actually bought ten of these for two thousand apiece, uh, and I sold uh, the ten back for about a thousand apiece. It was nine hundred ninety-nine GP. Uh, but that means that you can actually sell these for two thousand if you get lucky with your timing, or if somebody's trying to buy a mass quantity of them, people will buy these out. Uh, I am doing this on a weekend, uh, and as you can see, if I was trying to instant sell them, I was only selling them for 650 GP each. So always check your margins, see what the high and what the low cost is. Uh, unfortunately, somebody did put an offer in for 742 GP a piece, which is the mid price. So I'm going to have to figure out exactly how much I can sell these for, but right now I'm actually trying to sell them for quite a bit over the GE price. Uh, if 2000 was actually the best price before, I'm going to try to sell them for a couple GP under and luckily that guy that was selling them for 2000, he won't be able to check my price because somebody else is already blocking it uh, until actually that block kind of goes out. So he's definitely not going to drop down that much. Um, but we'll see if this actually sells. Uh, I'll slowly drop it down until it actually does start selling. Uh, I might end up just selling it for under the market price because that's what somebody probably sold a large quantity of them for. But we'll see. We'll figure it out when that road comes to it. So just finished up selling all these honeycomb. Uh, I did have to drop down the price a decent amount. Uh, they were not selling for the 2k a piece. If I was a lot more patient I could have gotten them sold for 2k a piece. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show what you can actually sell these for. Uh, I ended up getting 816 GP a piece, so it's it's a bit higher than the GE mid price if you are patient. Uh, I actually just kind of left them in here for a day or two, and I forgot about them a little bit. So this is the next week that I'm actually getting this all finished up. Uh, 198k though from uh, 10 minutes of doing this. So obviously you don't have any cost of doing this, so it goes 200k, let's approximate. Multiply it by 6 because there's 6 10 minutes for every single hour, you get 1.2 mil per hour. Not bad for uh, zero requirement, um, no money needed starting out, cash. Uh, 1.2 mil you can make in one hour and then that can get you up to a better money making method just because you have a little bit of startup cash from that. All in all, not bad for starting it up. Uh, if you guys like videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love it if you leave a like and a comment as, all, as well. As always, have a good one.